Well, here we are, folks, coming to the end of our journey of Micron Combiners. Well, at least the second Micron Combiner, which is the Boom Shield. We have AM7, 8, and 9. All three of them are robots. This means they're Autobots, because the Decepticons are notoriously animals where the Autobots are robots in their Micron forms. And they're triple changers because they have their weapon modes as well as their combined mode and the robot mode. So we're gonna go through every one of these modes with every one of them. So please hold on. It's gonna be a ride because we're gonna start with the seven. It would be this guy right here. So this is his robot mode. You see all the sticker apps? And to watch how you build this guy and the other two, there are the individual build videos as well. So first we're going to turn this guy into his sword. Now there's the mode we'll show you. Okay, so first you bend his arms back. You already see it coming together, eh? And then this is where it's going to get weird. You flip all this out and then extend these out and there. That's essentially what it's supposed to look like. But there are YouTube reviewers such as Pia that have suggested bringing, I think it's up like this, like this. See, now that looks better to me. Wait. There we go. It looks better. No hangy parts. And it's a sword. So, from the sword, we're going to go right into his Micron Combine Mode. Flip this around. This way. And then, like this. And like this. And that's the first part to the shield. You can see his little Autobot insignia there. That's step one. Step two, this guy's really easy. This guy looks awesome. Check out the mug on that guy. How awesome is he? I like his little red sticker there on his shoulder cannon. So this guy is kind of, I guess he'd be the least likely to be a triple changer only because it's his hatchet hatchet mode is uh, very close to his combined mode as well. So let's get to the hatchet mode first. So you just fold him in on himself, bring his arms up like this, bring that up, twist his legs in, and there you have hatchet, axe, whatever you want to call it. And you see the little Autobot insignia right there. So basically to get it into preparation mode, you do this. Dun, dun, there you go. He's ready to combine into shield. Next but next, we have Jazz. And you'll see his face here. As soon as we focus, and it has a very strong resemblance to Jazz's face. Now this guy, I guess people have been having slight troubles with. His legs are a little weird, so when you put him into his uh, weapon mode, so you bring the back down, you flip these out. So you see how that's not sticking? There's these little tiny pegs right in here. They're they don't stick very well. Now it's quite possible, I would think, at first I thought I actually built this guy wrong. But, not the case. People have just been having troubles. Regardless, he's not going to stay in this mode for too long. Well, that's his weapon mode, so let's just say, hypothetically speaking, this is all shut and works appropriately. That would be his spear. So, 
now we want to put him in his combine mode. Now this guy actually does the most to get into his combine mode. I like this guy because he does a lot of weird things. So you want to basically, this is going to be super easy. Ready? Split him in half. Holy crap, Batman, we are done. All we have to do is combine it now, folks. Let's start with this piece because it's the bottom. So you see these little tabs here? We're going to combine it onto here. So you basically are just plugging this in. It should line right up. And that. There. And you can see the handle. It's coming along. Coming along. Here we go. And then, see these two tabs right here are going to go into those holes. One there, one there. And this head is going to hang out with his head right here. Which is actually funny that you see his head right there. Just funny to me. So, you can actually spread these out a little bit. Set that in like this. And just bring that down. Line the hole up. Actually, you can even just put the first one in there. There. And kablammo. We have the Sky Boom Shield, folks. Here we go. That's it. That's all you have to do. See what I mean? Like the, the axe really doesn't have to, he's the least likely to be a triple changer combiner as a Micron. So yeah, there's the shield. And who else are we going to give it to but GDO Springer. So there's his shield as is. And Springer, which isn't a bad representation, but we're not talking about Springer here. We're talking about the shield. So, uh, thanks for watching. No, that's not right. Because we're not done yet. He's got to hold it, right? Stay tuned. He's going to be holding it. And here we have the Skyboom shield with GDO Springer. I'm loving this shield. This shield looks pretty darn awesome. Now, GDO Springer here is definitely not part of the prime line where this shield would more belong to. I just think he looks really good with his sword here. And uh, the shield looks awesome with him. Look how big that shield is. Look at it. It's awesome. Those three microns, they work really well with each other. So yeah. You can basically put this on any Transformer's hand. I think a 5mm port is, is what, what we're looking at there, you can see in his hand. That's how he's holding on to it. So yeah, that is the Skyboom Shield. And to see how to build each one of these individual Microns, there shall be links to each and every one of them. Hopefully this video has been somewhat informative as to how to build the shield and to get that individual look at all the different microns. But this is definitely worth getting if you like combining microns to build things. So there you go. GDO Springer with the Skyboom shield. Go get it and let me know below if you did. Thanks for watching and goodbye.